and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi there, folks. I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Hennig, physical therapist. Together, we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Today, we're going to talk about how to get your stomach slight. Oh, slim. Slim. Slim Tighten and, and trim. Slim and tight. I always said slim and trim. Well, it could be that, too. In three weeks, you're not going to need to do sit-ups, and you're not going to need to go to the floor. You can do this in your chair. chair. Yeah, seated position, Bob. It's, All right. It's, it's very convenient. Uh, you got to do it properly, though. Uh, By the way, if you're oh, new to our yeah, channel, please right. take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos how to stay healthy, fit, pay free, and we upload every day. Also, go to bobbrad.com. Go to the giveaway right. section. We're always giving something away. I'll show it to you. We'll show it to you in a minute. Uh, go to Facebook if you want the contest. It'll be pinned to the top of the page. That's right. Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok if you want a 60-second version of our program. And, yes, we have podcasts now. That's right. So, our giveaway, Bob. Yeah. We have the, the, Fit, Glide. the Fit Glide. This device is actually really nice for people with uh, knees, hip problems, hips, or at a desk. If you're working at a desk and you want to keep your legs moving, and you can and just burn some calories. Absolutely. And it's wonderful to keep the uh, circulation it's going. It's not completely quiet. There's some squishing sound. But you know, the point I want to make about that, really the big advantage of that was, uh, one, it's so lightweight. Right. Yeah, look at that. And two, you can actually use it in bed. You can lie down and right. actually right. move your legs back yeah, and forth. It fits everybody's needs. Okay, Bob, let's talk about it. Let's talk you know, about it. We want to get that. Tight tummy, you know, yeah. get it slim and trim. And what we need to get those muscles toned up. Sure. And uh, there's a lot of people who really just do not want to go down on the floor. Or they and, can't get on the floor. Or they, exactly. Yeah. But so the option is now this could be done at work, it can be done at home. Uh, you're not going to do it in a recliner or one of those soft chairs. Right. You need a a firm chair, something that offers good posture. I'm going to use this as a desk, and we're going to use a desk as an option for resistance. Well, what we're going to do is isometrics to the three primary muscle groups that we're going to address. And one is the, the transverse muscle group. Abdominus. And they're deep. They're a deep, flat muscle. Kind of, I always think of it like a pancake. It's a, a lot of posture, and we use that to tighten up. And it supports the back. It helps with your breathing. Uh, there's a number of things that these abdominal muscles well, do. I think you just mentioned do. earlier, Brad, to me that it's like a corset. Yeah, right. Uh, Wraps around. And the fibers go this direction. Yes. Okay. Well, we're going to address that one first. But we also then we'll do what everyone knows about the rectus, rectus. the six-pack muscle group, which goes up and down. Rectus and, damn near killed us. That's an old joke. Why, Bob? <laughs> I'm in the middle of a All right, go here. ahead, go ahead. Keep then, going. And then the oblique, the fibers that go this way, and then they also go this way, kind of at that yep. angle. So we're going to hit all three of those. And so, as, as Brad alluded to, these these all go around and attach into the fascia of the back. So right. if they, you improve these, you can improve, uh, protect back your back. Pain. Exactly. Yeah. There's another benefit to this as well. Uh, so we're going to look at that first one, that transverse. And if we go to your ASIS's, uh, well, I won't show it. There's those bones like there's that the bones are, right are sticking here. out right yeah. there. Yeah. Everybody worried about the belt line. You're going to go in a little bit, not far inch in, and a little bit down, and just feel there. And then what I want you to do, you're going to feel those muscles contract. You feel them, Bob? Well, I'm th just thinking you could probably kind of just go from the belly button out a little bit, right? Yeah, we want to get past the rectus. Oh, abdominus sure. Abdominus and get more. So out a little farther. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. So you go from the belly button and yeah. go out, out. Now, the visual cue I want you to think about is taking your belly button, and this is pretty, you know, a lot of people use this. You're going to take that belly button, sink it in, and push it into your spine. You're not going to get that far, but that's what I, in and up. So I'm doing this. I'm going to go in and up, and then you can feel those muscles contract. You don't have to put your fingers there. It just gives you some feedback. That For the first time. Are, right. Yeah. And then you're going to take your phone, put it right here on the desk or somewhere uh, where you can see it. Set it for 10 seconds with a little ring around there, or just you know watch a clock, or you can count as well. For 10 seconds, you're going to hold an isometric. So it's in and hold. I'm just looking at the clock here. We still got an old analog clock. And you'll feel those muscles get tight and then relax. So it's nice. You can actually be working, Brad, and do this. You know, just tighten 
without your hands touching it, right? Yeah, but if you're reading, you're not focusing enough. Sure. You're going to have to take a break to get to do it right. Yeah, and they'll find muscles tighten up or, or strengthen a lot better if you are focused right on the muscle. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, so you really couldn't do your work and sure. read and do them properly to get the you benefits. You can make it look like you're working. <laughs> yeah, so. right. Um, so you can do that again and do... 10 seconds, three sets, take a little break in between. Uh, we're going to do each of those. And as you get stronger, because if you're bent completely sedentary, you'll get sore stomach muscles the next day from this. Uh, and your Surprisingly muscles Surprisingly enough. Yes. Yeah, yeah, especially if you're really working them hard uh, the way you should be. Uh, let's go to the next one. So you'll do that three times, 10 seconds, with a little break in between. Uh, next one is the rectus we'll do. You don't have to do them in this order, but I picked this order. The six pack or the twelve pack. Sure. It's a six pack. In Wisconsin, we call it a twelve pack. <laughs> yeah, you would. State, whatever. You would. <laughs> it's a Wisconsin joke. Sorry yeah. about that. Anyways, uh, rectus. Now this one, I want you to think about bringing your knees up so that gets them going, and then you're going to flex forward. If you got a desk, I'm going to use the desk for resistance. So uh, I'm not going to round over like this. I'm yeah, gonna, keep back straight. Yeah, lean forward, bring the knees up. And you can also do it with your hands right on your knees as well. Um, and I'm going to show you one other option, which even is better than this, but you need a ball for it. So we're going to push, and again, we're going to hold for 10 seconds, and then you're going to relax and do that three times. If, if, if you already got a tone muscle to a certain degree, you can go up to 20 seconds. So um, y are you trying to lift the legs up too? Yeah. 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 So good. you're kind of pushing up with your, yeah, and lifting off your heels yeah. off the floor. Exactly. Right. Good point. Make that clear. So um, now if you happen to have a squishy ball, you could use a pillow too. The nice thing about using this is it gives you some feedback. It just seems like people have, you feel like you're doing more if you sure. have some feedback that, and now you can see I'm, I'm squishing the ball. And I'm doing that. And lifting the knees up. Yeah, exactly. Time. You know, you could put this under the desk and, you know, push into there. Sure. And that works too. Just an idea. It, yeah. it, it makes the exercise work better. Um, so three sets of those. And then finally, we need those oblique muscles that come in at an angle. Angles. Um, and you can do this. You know, I just have the desk here because I think you can do it at work. And you can do this two or three times a day. Uh, you're going to take the right hand over to the left knee. You're gonna bring this knee this direction and push into it at the same time and rotate. Rotate and kind of push down. Oh man, that really does, you do feel that. Oh, absolutely. You know, I like the ball, if you wanna get the ball in there. Now, if you are side. rotating, still try to keep your back straight. Yeah. I, right. I don't want you going like this. Yeah, we don't want this. Uh, I keep your back straight. Just come on over. Oh my God, that really, I'm surprised. Yeah, it isolates pretty well. These, yeah. these, are, these are good exercises. I'm surprised. Now on this one, you gotta go 10 seconds to the right and 10 seconds to the left. So you got twice as many to do. You can't just do three sets you of 10. mix those up though. That was to your right and to your left, right? Right, and then left, and then right, and then left, and then right, and then left. Bob, are this you, is to the right. Well, I'm, <laughs> I'm pushing with my right arm. Uh. It's go one direction and then the other. Okay. I don't know why I have to put up with this man. <laughs> you know what? This, this is how I have to do every I'm trying know, to three keep days you on week. task. <laughs> okay, let's carry on. All right. So you're going to do that. Uh, do it once. See if you get sore the next day. As things go on, try to do this at least three times a day in the morning, afternoon, and the evening. It's going to get those muscles to pull in. But there's one big thing that's going to not happen with you doing this. Right. That fat that's yeah. around those muscles isn't going to fall off right. just by doing and it's this. It's not going to tighten this, up. This is not a big calorie burner. No. It's going to burn calories. It's going to tone the muscles. You're going to have to change your diet. Yes. Uh, but that's diet okay. Diet is number one. Yeah. If, 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 if you, you want right. to lose fat. I hate to say this. There's channels out there that say you're going to, you know, burn off these yeah, calories yeah. by the simple way or drink their little magic juice and it'll fall off in a week. No. We can't promote that kind of stuff because it's simply not true. Um, you know, the, one of the conspiracy theories is that uh, the food companies came up with the idea that you can exercise to get the, the you know, the, the fat off yeah. because they didn't want you blaming their food. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> I've, I've read that a couple of times. So, so, you know, let's name some of the foods, Brad, that right. you should try to cut down. 
you, you really want to cut down on sugar drinks. Absolutely. I, mean, I, I say just cut them out. Yeah, Bob yeah. is saying no, but I'm saying you get one cheat day. You got three weeks to do this. Yeah. This is not a big deal. You can do it. Cut the cut the sugar drinks out. Uh, no juice. Orange juice. I used to think it was healthy. It's got a ton of sugar in it. Yeah. Um, actually, oranges are fine, but the orange juice really concentrates the sugar. Yeah, you've so, got to look at the ingredients. Right. I, I'm just saying there's, you know, eat an orange if you want the vitamins out of it instead of yeah. the juice. It's not processed. You've got the real thing. Uh, now, this is big for some people. It wasn't big for me to stop, but I, I quit eating bread. Sure. Well, I didn't quit, but 90%. I'll still have it occasionally. No pizza. A lot pizza of is there, There's a lot of carbs in there. Yeah. I mean, and, uh, and you can, I, I'm not saying it's, Get rid of the carbs, yeah. but it's going to help you if you want to lose weight to cut them, cut yeah. them down. Yeah. Both Brad uh, and I cut down carbs, and we both lost a lot of weight. You'll be amazed. And then no sugar, no candy, all that garbage yeah. stuff. You've got to get to real food. It's going to work. And you're going to be, if you happen to have this in your diet on a regular basis and you cut it out, you're going to be amazed after the first week. You won't notice yeah. in the first few days, and you're thinking, oh, where is it going? But by that third week, you're going to say, oh, because you're going to be able to eat volume. You're going to be able to fill up eating good food, but right. not this stuff. Vegetables, right. meats, uh, fish. You didn't mention the pasta or the ice cream. You no, you, you, yeah, I was going to save cut. that for you. Oh, you, yeah, you got to cut, cut down cut on those too. The pasta and the ice cream, yeah. yeah I, I was used a pasta to eat, fiend. Yeah. Yeah. I never was, so that was easy for me to cut out, but the ice cream was a big There are deal. healthy pastas you can get now, though, yeah. um, I, that are made out of something else. Like, yeah, and then you got to... A lot of fiber. It's easy for me just to ignore it. But yeah, if you like pastas, yeah, yeah there are options yeah, for it. So. But you're going to slim and get tighter doing these exercises and you really hey, focus on that diet. diet. You're going to be amazed how much better you feel and look. Yep. Be careful. <laughs> be careful. <laughs>